Yesu anasema Jesus says Come to me all of you who suffer and who are heavily burdened and I'll give you rest. Do you want to be given the rest today this evening? Nenda kitabu cha Malaki. Go to the book of Malachi. Nenda kwa Malaki. Go to the book of Malachi. Malaki mlango wa 4. Malachi chapter 4. Stari wa 4 mpaka 6. Verse 4 to 6. Mungu anataka turekeshe heri. God wants to return to us the blessedness. Tuanzie hapo kwanza. Let's start from there first. Na tunaamini Mungu atafanya kazi jioni ya leo. I believe God is going to work this evening. Ikumbukeni torati ya Musa mtumishi wangu iliyomwamuru huko Horebu kwa ajili ya Israeli wote. Naam, amri na hukumu. Angalieni nitawapelekea Elia nabii kabla haijaja siku ile ya Bwana iliyokuu na kuogofya. Naye ataigeuza mioyo ya baba iwaelekee watoto wao na mioyo ya watoto iwaelekee baba zao ili nisije nikaipiga dunia kwa laana. Remember the law of Moses my servant which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Dunia, the earth, ina mapigo mengi sana. So many calamities indeed. Hata nyinyi mnayaona. In fact you're seeing them. Ni sababu mwanadamu amemwasi Mungu. Because the human being has rebelled against Asa God. Hasa sababu alimwasi Mungu. And because he rebelled against God. Mungu hakuficha. God didn't hide it. Anasema kwa sababu hiyo. He says just because of that. Dunia nitaipiga kwa lana. I'll strike the earth with a curse. Leo watu wanalima hawapati kitu. Today people are cultivating without ripping anything. Wanafanya biashara haiendelee. They are doing, doing their business without any progress. Vita pande zote. There's so many fires and wars over the world. Kwa hiyo sababu let's return because Mungu anasema God says kabila ya mambo hayo yote before all those things nitamtuma mhubiri. I'll send a preacher. Ili kiwezekana so that if it is possible moyo wa baba urudi kwa mtoto the heart of the child the father to the child urudi kwa baba the heart of the child return to the father kuna watu wanalala mji mmoja wanakaa mji mmoja the people who sleep and stay in the same home lakini hutasikia mtoto anasema baba but you will never hear a child saying father amwambie shikamoo and say shikamoo to him hakuna hiyo there's nothing like that kuamka na kwenda just waking up and going baba akisema unaenda wapi if the father says we're going to silikuwa nataka nikutume i wanted to send you kamba anatosha hii. Nituma tayari wiki zote hizi mbasi. You sent me already Uyo. those weeks that's the end of it I said he goes away. Basi umasikini wote wa dunia hii unatafuta mtu kama huyo. Then all the prophets of this earth is looking for such a person. Lakini watu wa Mungu But you people of God Yesu hakukaa msalabani bure. Jesus never stayed at the cross for nothing. Alikuwa anaunganisha then uniting waya yako wewe kwa Mungu. Your wire to God ili so unapomuomba apate kusikia when you pray to him he may be able to hear you roho ya lana the spirit of curse una baba you have a father amesinywa kule moyoni hata kukuangalia hivi nataka ufe who is so fed up with you in his heart that when he looks at you he wewe well, nao kumwangalia baba hivi and when you look at your father also yule, you say that one nitamaliza tu i'll finish him sasa watu kama wanania hizo mbaya hizo now if people have those very bad minds mungu hawezi kufanya kazi mahala kama hapo god cannot work at such a place Amen. Amen. Hawezi. It cannot. Kizuizi cha mema. The hindrance to anybody's school. Maisha mazuri ya mtu. The nice life that one can have. Ni sababu ya dhambi ya lana. Because of this sin of curse. Nyinyi oh. hamuna amani wale wasemu liwafanyaje? What did you do to your old people? Wale wazazi wale. Those parents. Wale wafanyaje? What did you do to them? Yeye yeah, nakutuma. He sends you out. Una, Unamwambia nenda mwenyewe. But you tell him you go on your own. Hasa mtoto wangu si nimbali kule. But that's far my child. Ah, fanya mazoezi. No, you can practice now. Wow. What? Siku inakuja ndugu sana. Today is coming my dear brother. Tutubuni jioni ya leo. Let's repeat this evening. Anasema He says, eh? Yeah. Atarudisha moyo wa baba kwa watoto. He'll turn the heart of the father to the children. Na watoto nao moyo kwa baba. And the heart of the children to the father. Hata unaita mtoto anaitwa. When you, a child is called na baba by the father. Fulani so and so anaitika vile baba anataka he responds and does what, what the father wants hamjaona furaha ya wazazi you have seen the joy of the parent haya maneno bwana asikia haya this was you hearing right now wewe wewe yajaribu tu you just go and try them unaenda huko na kwenda febaruani you go to where you want to go to, to, to. when you return haya una fungu la kamba okay you have some prawns na limao 
and na na bit of lemon you bring it to your father halafu namwachia shilingi 50 then live with him some 50 bob ni za nini what for ni akiba yako mfukoni mwako it's just the saving of your pocket father let me shake me a hand and say and he said you grow up there ndivyo kufanya wao that's what they do lakini una uchungu na baba but i so bit against your father mimi niko hapa now that i'm here kama nina uchungu na baba if i have any bit of my father if hakuna kitu if i preach that do won't be anything at all lakini nina baba but i have a father na ni wawili and there are two baba leni zake mwili na waroho by the father that came to me eh, in the in the flesh and that the spiritual one. Una wawili hawa. If you have these two people. Utafaulu. You'll succeed. Amen. Amen. Utafaulu. You'll succeed. Ukiona njia zako ni ngumu. See your ways are so hard. Rudi polepole. Just it out very slowly. Ulimfanyaje baba? What did you do to your father? Ulimfanyaje mama? What did you do to your mother? Haya. Okay. Nikashuhudia kule uh, Arusha. I testified in Arusha. Kwa sababu ni maneno ambayo nilikuwa nimeyajua. Because that was which I had known mtoto ameuza shamba la babake. Ashal so the father, the father his father's farm. Na yuko kasini. And he was working. Akauza. He sold it. Halafu and then baba akaja akajua. The father knew it. Akamwambia kumbe wewe umeuza shamba. He says so I've sold the farm. Haya akarudisha hizo pesa. Okay go refund the money. Ah si wana na wasiwasi baba. Oh, don't worry my father. Si wana wasiwasi. Don't worry at all. Hizo atarudi. The, the money will be refunded. Akaendelea. He went on. Akashikwa na ugonjwa. This man was attacked Sasa by disease. Sasa wangu mimi naugua ugonjwa. No my child I'm so sick right now. Siheri wende ukarekeshe hizo pesa shamba lirudi. But you need refund that money for the farm to return to us. Nikifa mimi nikifa mimi tasikwa wapi? If I die where shall I be buried? Ah mambo sio na wasiwasi. He said father don't worry. Na msee kweli akaaga. And surely the old man died. Ah na hata inchi sita. When did have even 6 inches? Pakusikwa. Where he could be buried. Akabembeleza huyu mtu tena. He had to not to persuade this person. Huyo babaka apate kusikwa. For his father to be able to be buried. Sasa kumbe kuna kimila. I did this this uh, culture there. Kimila ni kile kienyeji. The culture that the native way of life. Haya. Okay. Kaambiwa sasa tumekubali azibwe hapa. So we have agreed that it should Lakin be buried. Lakini tutimize kile kimila. But we have really to perform whatever we do culturally. Haya. Okay. Kwa wana maombi kidogo hapo. There were few prayers along there. Sasa akapigwa huyo maiti anapigwa na huyu mwenye shamba. Now the corpse was had to be beaten by this the owner of this farm. Kimila hicho that culture yani kinamfanya that means it makes him asifatwe fatwe na huyu mtu akaenda kulala. He should not be followed by this man who is dead but when this man goes to sleep. Akaenda kulala when he goes to sleep awe haji hapo. This man should be not be coming to him. Sasa nikupigwa yuko hapo kwa sanduku hapo. That man was in the coffin but he was still beaten. Was whipped and he died. It was a corpse. Naliye sababisha haya yote ni huyu mtoto. And the one who caused all that was the child. Leo ana maisha magumu. Today has a very tough life. Alifanya na bengi, worked with the bank, aka retire. He retired. Ana jojote mpaka leo. But doesn't have anything all the same even today. Baba anapigwa tena ni might. The father is beaten while he's a corpse. Ni lana kiasi gani hiki kuza? What size of castle will that be my dear brother? Kumbukumbu la Torati. The book of Deuteronomy. 28. Chapter 28. 66. Na uzima wako utakuwa na wasiwasi mbele yako nawe utakuwa na woga usiku na mchana wala hutaaminikamwe maisha yako Your life shall hang in doubt before you you shall fear day and night and have no assurance of life Yesu ni yule jana na leo na milele Jesus same yesterday today and forever Kwa sababu una roho ya lana But because of the spirit of God hata una lana In fact you already cast Utakuwa na wasiwasi ukitembea You will be worried while walking Unaona kuroba You think be being bewitched Unaona kuroba You think people bewitching Utakuwa na wasiwasi You have all the worries Tena hutaamini I don't believe then Hutaamini you never believe Hutaamini kabisa. I never believe at all. Hata huyu mtu ameponywa. That man is here. Mtu amebarikiwa. That man has been blessed. Haya yule ndugu wa kule Arusha. Oh that brother in Arusha. Alipimwa akaona damu imepungua. Was examined and found he was lacking blood. Akasikiza injili. He had to listen to the gospel. Na maombi pamoja. To together the prayer. Akasema ngoja nirudi nikapimwe tena. Said men go back to be examined again. Waenda pimwa. When was exam? Imefika 10 badala ya 4. It's going to 10 but from 4. Siali yamua. He must have decided. Alikata shauri. He must have resolved. Kwa hivyo jioni ya leo. Therefore this evening. Injili bado itahubiriwa. Because we will still be preached. Lakini nataka ujue kile chance. But I want you to, to know the very beginning. Ni kwa nini injili inahubiriwa? Why is it that the gospel yes, is preached? Yesu alikuja ni kama hajaja. Jesus came but Jesus himself has never come. Na alikuja duniani. And he came to this earth. Kuokoa kilichopotea. To save the lost. Lakini watu hawakutafuta kuokoka. But people didn't go for salvation. Watu walitafuta uponyaji. People just went for, for healing. Na ishara ishara za miujiza. And so many signs and miracles. Wakafikiria ndio 
the thought that was the salvation. Uh-uh. Oh no no no. Mungu no. anasema God says jua hadui yako anatoka wapi? You should know where your enemy is from. Alipo akasema hadui wa mtu. And then he says one one's enemy yuko nyumbani mwako. Is right in his home state. Moyoni mwako. In your heart. Rohoni mwako. In your soul. Ukijua hilo if you know that ukitaka kujua hujui if you want to know that you don't know. Unasema huyu mama mdogo ndiye ananiroga. Say my aunt is bewitching me. Kuna mama mmoja hapa sijui unaitwaje hapa. The one lady some ovuni. What do you call it? Ovuni. Kuna mama aliyeshikwa na kichaa kikali. The lady who became very very insane. Miaka hiyo ya nyuma. In those past years. Sasa alisumbuka huyo mama. Then that lady suffered so much. Wakatengeneza uganga wa kila aina. They treated her in every way. Akaambiwa Bomani kuna kanisa. She was told there's a church at Bomani. Huyo mzee akatumana. This old man sent. Wahubiri tuende kwake. For the preachers to go to his Tukaenda. place. Tukaenda. We went. Kufika huyo mama. When we reached there that lady yuko huko chivira alivyozaliwa. Was stuck naked the way she was born. Amejaribu mzee wa watu imeshindika. The old man had tried everything possible but there's no Tukaliweka neno la Mungu hapo. We put the word of God there. Si maneno yetu. None of our words. Tukaweka ya Mungu hapo. We put those of God there. Mama yule alipona. The lady was healed. Eh? Yep. Akapona kabisa hata leo. She was healed completely even today. Mahala palipo na lana. Any place where there's a chaos. Hakuna amani. There's no peace. Ni wasiwasi. Sijui nitafanyaje. Hata kulala hulali. Uchana na usiku wewe una wasiwasi. Stay night you remain worried. Ndio sasa unasema mimi si bure. Then you say this is not in vain. Na kweli si bure. Actually it's not in vain. Maana kuna hii lana hii. But there's this curse. Na unaweza ukapona. You can be healed out of it. Ukikubali wacha kesho. If you agree it's not tomorrow. Au Jumapili. Maybe on Sunday. Saa hii hii unaweza ukapona hapo leo. Can be healed right there at this time where you are. Inawezekana kabisa. It is quite possible. Lako wewe nikukubali. What you need to do is to agree. Umwambie Mungu nisaidie. You tell God help me. Nataka nirudi kwa baba moyoni mwangu. Want to tell my father in my heart. Nataka nirudi kwa mama moyoni mwangu. Want to tell my mother in my heart. Niashike maagizo yako. Then uphold you, your commandments. Amen. Amen. Kata shauri. You decide. Tunaenda kuomba. We're going to pray. Niweke tayari kwa sababu Mungu anaenda kukupa kile kizuri. Because God is going to be nice. Let's stand up then my dear brethren. Tafta Yesu Tafta Yesu Tafta Yesu Yesu Mimi naenda kuomba. I'm going to pray. Wakati naenda kuomba. At the time I'm praying. Tuwe pamoja. We should be together. Kusudi Mungu ah. that God may do the same things for us. Nikisema utanifuatia. If I speak you do you speak after me. Baba Mungu ninakushukuru. I thank you Father God. Siku ya leo. This day. Umenijalia. You have enabled me kusimama mbele yako to start before you. Kulisikia neno lako to hear your word. Nipate kuwa huru. That I may be free. Unirehemu wewe Mungu Baba. Na unisamehe Mungu Baba. And forgive me for my makosa. Sina haki. Usiniache nikapotea Baba. Unishike mkono. Hold me by my hand. Tangu sasa. From now. Unisafishe. And cleanse me. Na uniponye. And heal me. Kila aina ya udhaifu. Every type of weakness. Weka mikono pamoja. Put your hands together. Weka mikono pamoja. Now put your hands together. Naenda kuomba. I'm going to pray. Mungu for God akurehemu. To have mercy on Newe you. Newe pepo wa magonjwa. Shetani. Toka. Katika kifua. Katika tumbo. Toka demon. Pepo wa magonjwa. Shetani wa magonjwa. Na uharibifu wa kila aina. Shingo, kifua, mikono miguu. Kila mahala pepo wa maradi yote katika jina la Yesu tena utoke toka toka katika jina la Yesu umegusa mifupa ya yule ndugu ya yule dada mahali alipo tokeni katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu toka pepo pepo wa magonjwa pepo wa maradi pepo masikini pepo wa chuki pepo wa uchungu Pepo masikini toka 
katika jina la Yesu kila udhaifu na uti sasa kila udhaifu na uti sasa toka na magonjwa yako za uharibifu umemfanya yule mwanadamu ana amani toka katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu demoni toka 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 uko hapo kazi zako zinaonekana toka sasa toka toka katika jina la Yesu pepo wa maradi yote pepo daifu yote toka sasa angalia yule ndio pewa haki yake toka toka katika jina la Yesu pepo wa magonjwa pepo wa wizi toka katika jina la Yesu sante Mungu mkuu sante Mungu baba na kushukuru kwa kuponya watu wako bwana na kuwaweka huru watu wako bwana ili wakafurahi duniani baba maana mioyo ina huzuni ina mashikitiko Mungu baba ni asante na shukuru baba uponye hata roho ya uoga yule pepo wa uoga toka umewatisha wanadamu wanachukiana wanadamu wewe demoni toka wewe shetani toka toka Let's go, 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 let's go